Sixth round pick. And now Duclair snaps that pass. Rink wide for Max Domi. Drops it off for Sam Reinhardt. And Reinhardt taken in hard by Andreas England, the Ottawa second round pick. Now Josh Morrissey gets to move out on goal. It's picked off and moved ahead by Joe Hicketts, number two for Canada, the native of Kamloops, B.C. And what a remarkable story he is. Undrafted in the National Hockey League. Went to Detroit. And Racing in is Domi on the forecheck. And Max Domi sets things up as Canada's changing. Drops it back off. And quick shot off the post by Jake Vertanen. Now brought in Bolt. Drops it back to the point to England. Rossi goes to Forsling. And Gustav Forsling's shot was blocked by Domi. And a race for it now. As, and as Andreas England goes back for it. Shots are 7-1 to one in favor of Canada. It was 50-20 on Friday night in Toronto. And the Russians won that bit as they get towards the tournament. Every once in a while we get reminded how young these guys are. And to me, that was one of the one of those occasions. Well, mention to some of the Canadian players that this is the arena where Wayne Gretzky played his last game in Canada. Doesn't mean a lot to guys born in 95 and 96. A reminder <laughs> how young they are and how we're not. In comes McDavid. Posts up, sends it back in front. The pass was in behind Josh Morrissey. Morrissey scored Canada's goal against the Russians on Friday. That all Western Hockey League defensemen with 28 last year. Dropped off. Bowie sends it back in front. Oh, what a save by Wall and the one timer by Nick Ritchie. Oh, up this a pre tournament games we've seen. Well, the book of Morrissey is a bizarre fan on that shot. If he turns it over, you better hurry up the ice because he's coming back quick. Oh, just, a, just a wonderful skater. Played last year in the final. Now McDavid gets bumped in front of you by Andreas England. And here's Darnell Nurse down low, the other first round pick for Lazar. For his first NHL goal last Monday against the Buffalo Sabres. Nurse across the theater, in shoots, and Ward got an arm on that. We expect that Linus Soderstrom will be the goaltender who carries most of the load for the Swedes in the tournament. He's an Islander fourth round pick. Aaron Ekblad not available, playing for the Florida Panthers. Of course, Nathan McKinnon too, playing for Colorado. And slid back by Fowler to the point for Dylan Hedrington. I get it. If it's not, and he's going to play in the American League for the next two weeks, I, I don't get it. I, I don't think that's the right decision, but we'll have to wait and see. The Swedes are still sort of hoping that he will be <laughs> might be made available. It is Christmas, after all. Golden goal in OT. UC Soros put on a oh. fabulous goaltending performance. Now Fowler with his shot. They want to push the puck up and down the ice, but they also have the ability to do it more mobile on the blue line than last year's team. I think that really helps them a lot. Now a lead pass goes to Oscar Lindbaugh. By the way, not every Swedish player is named Bauhaus. That's sponsorship and work. They put the goals they'll often use. And Forsling plays it across to Nylander. Long shot by William Nylander, just wide. Adrian Kepler plays it back to Forsling. And the puck comes loose to Reinhardt. He's away short-handed. Three on two along with Domi. And Mora. Here's Domi with a chance. A backhand shot. Stopped by Wall. And now Domi racing back as the Swedes bring it up the ice. Here's Nylander. He's not going to last very long in the draft this year. He plays it. Ed Duclair tried to knock it down. Ooh, it bounces look down. Look out. That almost skipped into the net. Now Duclair picks it up. Plays it off the side of the goal. The adjustment for goaltenders moving from the NHL surface to the international Get surface on. is tough, and also coming back the other way. Well, the angles are all off. The width of the rink is really a challenge for them. They've got to readjust. Columbus second round pick who plays for Swift Get Current in the Western Hockey League. And a steal by Lawson. Kraus, the puck still loose. Kraus trying to pick it out. And finally, Rasmus Aston had the emergency swing to knock that away. Then you got a cup, you know, a game or two at the start of the tournament. And you think by then he's, he's going to be pretty comfortable again. And open against, against the Slovaks on Boxing Day, then take on the Germans the next day, Finland December 29th, and it all wraps up in the round robin portion with the United States on New Year's Eve. Connor McDavid versus Jack Eichel.
and Noah Hannafin. And Lawson Krause is in that game. And it's Canada USA on New Year's Eve. And Austin Matthews. Yes. There'll be no shortage of great. Loose it behind the Canadian goal. 35 seconds to go in the power play. Right back across. Nylander. Drops it back. They score. Gustav Forsling with a point shot. It might have been tipped. In the second, Gustav Forsling had four goals at the U18 tournament in the spring. The leading go goal scorer for defensemen last year. Here, Nylander sets this thing up on the tee. Forsland shot is through traffic, directly through the screen. Comrie misses this on his glove. Now back at the point, here's England with it. And now reaching forward is Forsland, almost knocked down the ice back again. Nifty move by Fabry, slides it ahead for Patan. In comes Dick Patan with a shot, short side, he put it high. And Shea Theodore back to pick it up. Theodore's pass long at the Swedish blue line, knocked down by Forsley, now picked up by McDavid. Throws it back in front, that pass is picked off by Christopher N. Here's Theodore with it now. Shea Theodore steps around the first man, walks it and shoots. He whistle that wide in the short side. Nurse steps up, plays it back in deep to Richie. Picked up by McDavid. And now McDavid throws it back in front, gets his own pass, and resumes the attack. Here's Nurse. Arnell Nurse, nifty move, slides it across to McDavid. Walks back in front, McDavid shovels it on goal, kicked away by Wall. Here's Richie with it. Good shift here by the McDavid line. Nurse comes walking in, sends it back in front. And Lazar couldn't pull the trigger. Shea Theodore down to Lazar. Walks it off the wall, Lazar back with it. Slides it back to Nurse. And the puck on the string for Canada here as Nurse pokes at it. And finally moved out by Sweden's Anton Blee. Really good puck retrieval by McDavid in particular as the Lazar McDavid line have their best shift. The shooting candidates to one here in the second period. The lead pass goes to Anthony Duclair. And Duclair, the Montreal native, spins back in the corner with it. Move by Duclair. Works it back into the slot. Slides it back to Morrissey. In comes Josh Morrissey. He was being shadowed there by Nylander. Morrissey back with it. Puck goes it's for the Canadian defense. Now that lead pass is chopped in. As Lindblom got a stick on that, but it's fired back down the ice by Hicketts. We think in today's day and age, Ray, it would be almost impossible for a player who's that accomplished to go undrafted. Here early, you fall off the radar a little bit. It's also an 18-year-old draft, so imagine if NFL teams had to predict who would be the best players in age 18 coming out of high school. It's hard enough at 22. Yeah. There's Lazar taking the court now, shorthand in the final second of the Morrissey penalty. Two shots on goal for the Swedes on that power play. And Morris is back on with seven to go in the second period. <laughs> and some other ones. And 1,500 penalty minutes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know, after a while, but seriously, where are you going to put it? You can't build a shrine to yourself, right? Here's Nylander playing it back. Well, some have. Here's Kraus with it. Flips it high in the air, back down to the Swedish zone as Forsling goes back for it. The Swedish goal scorer. Five and a half to go in the second period. Flips up ahead. Nick Ritchie knocked that down with one hand. Now played back down to the Canadian zone where Bowie beat. Shots are 9 2 Sweden here in the second period. Canada pretty fortunate to have the two goal lead as the the goal they've scored it was the mistake made in the net by Samuel Ward on a little flip in. Anthony Duclair took advantage. Ward's had a couple of bad bounces here tonight. The shooting almost handcuffed him. And now the lead pass for Brodecki, but just starting to get going a little bit here. Swinging back his forcing with it. Nick Ritchie all over him. Final seconds of the period. And it goes to Brodeck. And now Lazar busts ahead with McDavid and Richie. Here comes Lazar, flips it back in front. Here's McDavid with an out. Much focus on structure and defense in Swedish hockey. Not enough focus on skill development. And the long shot goes just wide from Walmart. And Goche with it now for Canada through the middle. Four for Tannen. And Kraus tried to knock that in. Canada in the midst of a change as Goche makes his way off.
back at the point. Here's Darnell Nurse. Walks in and shoots. Ward taken down. Son of former NHLer Michael Nylander. Back at the point is Forsley to Nylander. Nylander born in Calgary when his dad was playing there. Swings that rink wide for Kempa. Here's Forsley. Back to Kempa. Long wrist shot. Comrie the save. And Holmstrom couldn't corral the bouncing puck. Forsling back with it to Nylander. Now swung ahead by Braden Point. He finds Duclair who shovels it on goal. Hit the post off the stick at McDavid. And Ward is arguing again that he was interfered with. Philadelphia's farm Good. team this year. He's just not playing tonight. Now look out, Kochi and Law. And the tournament begins next Friday. With Canada taking on Slovakia. And TSN will have every game of the tournament for you. Set pass ahead for Duclair. Anthony declared it. Max Domi back for Declare. Works it back in front. His coat check there by Ward. And now Theodore plays it right back in for Reinhardt. Sam Reinhardt, second overall to Buffalo in last summer's NHL draft. Began the year with the Sabres. Leaves it down there for Domi. Max Domi plays it back in front for Declare. His shot was blocked as Holmstrom got in the way. Here's Duclair back with it. Jams it back in front. Domi spins and shoots. Ward's got no stick. Oh, shoot. Saved by Comrade. Back at the point. Forsling played it across. And the shot was blocked in front by Theodore. In comes Domi. He had Reinhardt with him, but racing back to break that up was Forsling. It was often a drop off when a player gets sent back. Not for him. Scored his first shift. <laughs> One way to come back, I guess. Now Vertanen digs for it. And diving to poke it out is Asplund. Lifting move at the line by Moran. Drops it off, and that shot by Kraus. Team that Canada's going to field this year in the tournament. Now Richie plays it across to McDavid. And McDavid peels out of the corner, trying to feed that back in front. Still has it. And reverses it down for Richie. Thanks it back to Bowie with a long shot. Ward made the save. That shot staggered him a bit. And now Brodecki. Moving ahead, he took a hard bump there from Ritchie. And back to pick it up is Forsling, one of the Swedish goal scorers. Rick Whitey goes for Della Rose. We're always looking for a teaching moment, a teaching time, and what you can assure that they will talk to their players about for Canada is to maintain the discipline here as the game goes on. They've started to run around a little bit here the last couple of minutes. They are kids. Oh, you bet. Their temper in hockey games. Now well, Reinhardt poked that ahead to Lazar just out of his reach. 2.45 to go in the third period. And back comes Forsling for it. Hetherington's had a good game for Canada. Done a good job on the penalty kill. Been really solid in his zone.